I was 10 and my parents got divorced and we moved in with my grandparents. I was a big girl, 16, I was 16 stone. It was a comfort thing for me growing up. My husband-to-be asked me to marry him when I was 21 and we had to plan the wedding. Even though I was in the happiest time of my life, it also made me realise I didn't want to look like that on my wedding day. I wanted the nice, slim figure in the most glorious wedding dress. You do need something to focus on. So I started to lose the weight. I was like, right, that's it, we've got to do it now. I remember the day when I went to go try on my wedding dress. I wanted to show off my new figure. I picked out a few dresses. I tried the first dress on. It just zipped right up. I remember turning around. My friends and my grandma was there. They were all crying because I'd achieved that for myself. I never thought I'd be able to do it either. I'd always be that big girl in the size 22. It did go in my head that I'd done it for myself. It was the most amazing feeling I'd ever had. I wasn't really interested in sports as a kid. I was a pretty normal size and I'm tall, so it was okay. But when I started working, I was sitting all day eating junk food and the weight just piled on. I've always liked clothes and I knew how to do something when I couldn't fit in a size 22 jeans. So I got some help and I really looked at what I was eating and then made some changes. So I started walking and then a few months later I started running. And I found I loved running. The day I ran for 30 minutes without stopping was a big moment for me. I called my best friend and then I called everyone. I was like, yes, I've run half an hour without stopping today. I knew then that there was no turning back. As a person, I feel amazing. I know it sounds like a cliche, but when I'm out on a run, I feel like anything is possible. It frees up my mind and running pretty much solves all my problems. If I could give my old self some advice, I would just say to myself, you can do it. Just put one foot in front of the other and the rest will just follow. Going to Disney World in Florida a few years ago, going on to one of my favourite rides and not being able to get the restraint down, and that probably triggered wanting to lose weight. I realised I needed some help. I started eating a bit better than I did before. Then I got a bit more serious with it. And then all of a sudden, I started exercising, and I've never exercised before. Looking into the mirror wasn't the easiest thing. Try to avoid it. Now I'm quite happy looking into a mirror and seeing someone different. Really, that moment, it's, I've done it, yes. It was a fantastic feeling. When I was 30, I'd done some filming, acting and modelling. And I met my husband, and we literally got married in 10 days. And then within that year, we had our first child. So I went into family, motherhood. I loved all of that. There wasn't time to think very much about yourself. You just get on with whatever you need to do. I was very good at hiding the weight as it gradually crept on. I'd definitely been in denial. 
and suddenly I'm an 18 and that's probably when my mother said, you do need to lose weight. Well, when I hit size 14, my confidence really did just come back completely. That was the big turning point, really. And I decided to revisit modeling. I've got the confidence now. Just make your life the best it can be.